annual 420 smokeout and hundreds of pot smokers are expected to participate this year in Denver and in Boulder. And uh, Fox 31 Shaw Turner live in Civic Center Park with more on this story. Good morning, Shaw. What's the expectations today? Yeah, absolutely. Thousands of people will be here at Civic Center Park and in Boulder at uh, Central Park, Broadway, and Canyon area. And it's called the 420 Smokeout because at 420, all these people will be lighting up marijuana and smoking it. It's part of their peaceful protest and uh, enlightenment, as they call it, for the community about what their uh, beliefs and what their cause actually is. But CU is saying this year it's time to get tougher on this event and that police didn't write enough tickets. Uh, last year. So they want to do something about that. Now, the University of Colorado says Boulder's campus will be ticketing pot smokers. They've sent out emails to students saying, please do not participate in unlawful activity. Uh, this is an unsanctioned smokeout. Last year, 10,000 people gathered on Norland Quan alone to smoke or witness the whole thing. Pretty much uh, over the years, police have been accused of turning a blind eye to this, issuing very few tickets. Uh, but uh, Boulder's chancellor, or CU's chancellor, rather, has issued a statement saying this, an email to students, please do not participate in unlawful activity that devalues the reputation of your university and your degree. Now, I am standing here with Miguel Lopez, who is the executive director of 420, and uh, we were talking earlier about the fact that, you know, you, can, you get a lot of criticism, and also a lot of people say they want the police to be a lot tougher on an event like this, but this is a peaceful protest. Yes, this is. And uh, just for the record, we're not an event. That's one of the requirements from the city. We're an assembly. So just like any other group who's out here protesting, that's what we're out here to do today and to show people that in if people who decide to practice civic disobedience, we have their back. And the police policy today will, is, will be that they are tolerant um, of people smoking and passing, but nothing else more than that. Okay. Aren't you worried, though, about there are so many people who come here who, who really just want to make a circus out of this, who are not on the same page you are, but they want to just cause a lot of problems. How do you control something like that? Well, you know, every substance has its uglies, and the realities of marijuana versus the realities of someone falling over drunk or beating up their wife are quite far than the different and the realities that compare to that of uh, marijuana. Okay, well, we'll talk to you a little bit later this morning. Again, I'm at Civic Center Park this morning. There will be no barbecuing, no buying and selling of anything, especially marijuana. And famed uh, defense attorney Rob Corey it has publicly announced that he will defend anyone who has issued a ticket in relation to this event. Event? It's not an event. It's an assembly. It's an assembly. Okay? Mike, back to you. Got it. Get you.